I just did the animal-based diet for 30 days. I not only wanna show you exactly how to do it, but I also wanna tell you about my amazing results. Hey Wellness Warrior, I'm Dr. Nick Zorowski and the animal-based diet is so interesting and different, but I really like it. Now, here's the thing. Many people would ask, why in the world would you follow this animal-based diet for 30 days? Because I'm gonna challenge you to do so. And the reason for it is because 80% of you are suffering from one or more chronic condition and 55% of you are on four or more prescription drugs. This is no life at all. And this animal-based diet is probably radically different from the diet that you're following. And you know what? If you want to have some radical changes in your health, then you have to make big, big changes in your diet. So what I want to do is uproot you from where you are today and give you a different option. It is so important to make sure that you're cleaning up your diet if you want to change your health. Now, when we look at this animal-based diet, this is the basis behind it. It is a diet that is low in toxins, it's low in allergens, meaning that is a lot of food that you won't react poorly to, and it also is a lot of food that is very bioavailable and nutrient-dense, meaning that it's full of nutrition, but also you're able to absorb the nutrients from that food. This is why this diet is so beneficial. And especially if you're sick or you're suffering or you're struggling, then this is a good option for you. This is a diet that is rooted in some very core ancestral concepts. And when we look back at history, our ancestors didn't struggle with disease like we do today. So we should probably take some of the things that they're doing and learn from them. But before we do, I wanna tell you about a brand new skincare line we just started at New Vision Health Center. And it all is starting with our ancestral lifestyle. And that is with tallow lotion. Tallow lotion is incredible. I've used it for years and I'm so impressed on how well it works, especially for sensitive skin. Tallow is an intense all day moisturizer, which is why it's been employed traditionally for thousands of years. It doesn't clog your pores, nor does it leave your skin feeling greasy. It goes deep into the skin, preventing dryness at a cellular level, leaving the skin looking fresh, healthy, and hydrated. Great Lakes Organics grass-fed tallow lotion is packed full of vitamins A, D, E, and K, along with large amounts of conjugated linoleic acid, and it's also whipped with olive oil and your favorite essential oil. Give this a try. I promise you, you will love it. I love using tallow lotion, and I think you will too, and I'm really excited to finally bring this to you after years and years of working on a concept to where we could actually make this for you in a healthy way with grass-fed tallow. So click on the link in the description and give it a try today. So let's go ahead and dive into the major foods that you're going to eat while on an animal-based diet. Now, at the core of the food pyramid, it is going to be beef, lamb, bison, and organ meats. These organ meats are very important because they're very nutrient-dense. I eat things like liver and heart while I was following the animal-based diet. And then when we go into the fats, because that was your proteins, when we move into the fats, it's going to include some fats such as milk, ghee, cheese, and even tallow. And I'll share with you more of the different fats you can have in just a moment. Now beyond that, you can have things like honey, banana, squash, and mango. And this is focusing on your carbs. And the one thing I actually really loved about this diet, because I didn't feel that this diet was restrictive, the thing that I loved is that you could have fruit on it. Well, following the ketogenic diet in the past, one of the things that was a little bit of a struggle is that you always had to limit fruit. But this, you can, and so that's fantastic. Here's some of the foods you can have. And this is kind of like the main foods you'll have. However, what you're going to remove is very important. You're gonna remove seed oils. They're high in omega-6, they're highly inflammatory. Corn oil, soybean oil, canola oil. We wanna make sure that we're removing these oils from our diet. You're also gonna to wanna to remove grains. This is a problem for many people. Many people are either highly sensitive or lightly sensitive to gluten. However, most of you are actually sensitive to it. You don't even know it. And so removing grains from your diet is gonna be great for that purpose, but also because grains are loaded with pesticides, herbicides and full of chemicals. Next, we're gonna remove sweeteners. I mean, no, this one seems a little weird because on the ketogenic diet, you'll add a lot of different sweeteners like stevia and monk fruit, but here we remove all of these altogether because this is not an ancestral way of living to include all of these different sweeteners like xylitol and monk fruit and stevia. We go right back to the core and if we wanna sweeten things, we use honey. And that is the basis of using this animal-based diet is getting those sweeteners out of there, all those artificial ones. And now we also want to remove vegetables. Now this one's pretty controversial, but the whole basis behind this is that 
plants have a lot of plant toxins in them. They have a lot of defense chemicals. And these defense chemicals, many of you will react poorly to. And the other problem with a lot of vegetables is they, once again, are highly sprayed with chemicals and pesticides. Now, I can tell you beyond a shadow of a doubt, I actually react very poorly to many vegetables. And so this is why I actually found this diet to be very good for me. But before I jump into the results, I wanna share with you this. I don't want you to feel like you're overwhelmed here. So what I did is I put together an amazing guide for you to follow so that you can do this animal-based 30-day challenge. There's gonna be a link in the description below and it's a complete guide that has the breakdown of a shopping list, example meals, the food you can eat, and it's totally free to use. I felt great while following the animal-based diet. One of the things that's interesting about this style of diet is that I actually follow a diet very closely to this all the time. Now, the big change for me was that I pulled out a lot more vegetables from our diet, my diet, right? Things like spinach or kale or any of these different vegetables I pulled out and I actually found that I did much better with it. And, you know, quite frankly, some people may think that it sounds a little crazy to pull a bunch of vegetables out, but there are a lot of people who react poorly to them. I am one of them. If I eat a big bowl of spinach, my body will go nuts. My body does not like many different vegetables. And it's really just almost like a little bit of an an autoimmune trigger that happens. And so I did really well by pulling a lot of them out and eating a lot of vegetables that are very non-reactive. Now also I pulled grains out. For me, a lot of times in my home, what we'll do is we'll make healthy sourdough bread and some different um, breads like that that are much better alternatives than your store-bought grains. And so I pulled these out all together. Once again, did very good with this. And so the biggest improvement I saw altogether was just I felt great and my gut health was so much better. Now, what can you expect from this? Now, a lot of people will find that you're going to lose weight while following this diet. You're going to find that your health will be overall better. You'll have better sleep, more energy, and you'll feel great. This is a diet that actually is pretty non-restrictive and easy to follow. And I'd highly recommend anybody who's looking to make a radical shift in the, your diet to actually follow this. So that's why I'm giving you this 30 day challenge. Download in the description below the, all the details of this, do this diet for 30 days, and then report back to me and let me know how you do with this. I'm excited for you to give it a try because this diet worked for me, I really like it, and I'm going to stick with it for a longer period of time. I'm not stopping at 30 days simply because it's over. I'm gonna keep going because I like the way I feel on it, and I actually like how non-restrictive it actually is. So I think you will too. So I'm Dr. Nick Sarowski. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead, give it a try. Bring along your family, bring your friends with you on this journey, and then after that, go ahead and watch this video over here.